I think everybody expected that Alabama offensive line. That's all anybody was talking about. Alabama's offensive line is, man, they're so big. They're so good. And all I'm screaming from July and August, I'm like, hey, the quarterback ain't what you need to worry about. The receivers ain't what you need to worry about. It's that offensive line. I told everybody, you're going to be starting a freshman at left tackle. You got freshmen in the two deep. Where's the quality depth? You know, I know you've been recruiting well, but you got to be able to develop some depth quickly because things happen in the SEC and in major college football. And I just wasn't real so. I mean, other than Tyler Booker and J.C. Latham, there was nobody that I looked at at that offensive line of Alabama. I was like, oh, yeah. That's one of the best offensive lines in the country. But yet, everybody in the echo chamber was saying, oh, yeah, these guys are going to be great. Well, they weren't great against Texas. Five sacks should have been about ten sacks. If Jalen Milrow is not the quarterback for Alabama, then guess what? They get sacked probably ten times. I don't care if it's Tyler Buckner or not. I know he's athletic. You may see Tyler Buckner a little bit more, uh, a little bit in this USF game. But, guys, can Alabama get – some production out of their running backs. That's what they have to have, okay? Jalen Milrow has accounted for 29.4% of Alabama's overall rushing production so far, and the Alabama running backs, guys, have 50 carries for 199 yards, only 3.9 yards per carry in the 2023 season. That's not going to cut it. That's not the Alabama of old, okay? They used to have backs that they could just rely on to, to close out football games. Even, even when they were in the you know fun and gun stages here lately with, with Tua and with Bryce Young, they had a, a Najee Harris that they could say, hey, you know, let's go close this game out. Let's win this football game. They got physically dominated by Texas. Texas made them quit on both of the lines of scrimmage this past week and Tyler Booker can stand up in front of the media and say we're pissed off all he wants to it doesn't matter show us show us that you're pissed off come out against the USF Bulls on your recon mission for Saban to open up a Mercedes-Benz location in Tampa because that's the only reason I guess that game would be scheduled down there I have no idea why they're playing uh, down there at Raymond James Stadium but Alabama needs to come out and show us and, and say, hey, can these running backs, can McClellan, can Roydell Williams get it done? If not, then I know Justice Haynes will run the football. Put that man in there, him, Jam, Jam Miller, those guys, Richard Young. Somebody's got to be able to run the football and not make your quarterback do everything for you. People are bagging on Jalen Milrow. Tommy Reese needs to stop dropping him back, okay, into, you know, straight drop back. Get the running game going so you can get play action going, get some bootlegs, get things like that. That was not Jalen Milrow's fault on, on Saturday night against Texas, and I want to see this Alabama offensive line help those Alabama running backs get a running game going for the Crimson Tide. That's my question for Alabama. Can they do that against USF?